<laughs> hey guys, we uh, we started this last year in our Every Mechanics idea, and we feel really passionate about that it's the basic skills that most people are missing, and it's stuff that we're taking for granted. So we've got this kind of crazy experiment that's going another level this year, and what we're doing is we're documenting uh, a particular skill or test, and that's what's here in the center. And then all this stuff around it are where the, you know, the students in training talk about, well, what is it that I know about that? So in the case of this compression testing, and then they put everything they know, and then they actually go do the work, and then they take a look at, well, is there something we forgot? Did we forget to, do, to write something down in our first you know, thoughts about what that is? What we did next was we took a look at all the things that we could come up with that are required or nice to know for compression testing, and then we labeled them as an every mechanic or we labeled them as a nice to know. Okay, so we took a look at all that. Then we took it one step further, and that's the new thing for this year, is we decided these yes or no's are, are these individual things in the service manual? Okay, you know, is, you know, do you have to memorize it? Are these things that every mechanic should just know? Or can you just say, I don't really need to worry about it. I'm just going to go use the service manual for that. My personal thoughts, and as we've been training together, we, we realized that the majority of what we do every single day that we take for granted being a mechanic, it isn't in a manual. It's not in a book. It doesn't exist. It's because you were taught. You did it from muscle memory. Someone showed you how to do it. Hey, this is a good technique. Always do this. Always lube your tool. Always use this tool, right? So on and so on, right? So we, we decided let's actually write it out. Let's take a look at that. And what we found is most all of that, every mechanic stuff, is not inside the service manual. That's why you watch videos. That's why you get training. That's why you get mentorship. You know, however you're going to access that skill. So let, let's just summarize this. So we're going to continue on. Our goal is to really, I got a good group here. And I'm not having to do a lot of talking into what I'm realizing here. And, and, I, and my belief today is, as I get to know uh, men and women in here a little better is they all come from a sports background too so I think they really understand coaching mentorship and I know what they're really buying into is the thing that we need to change about motorcycle mechanics and mechanics in general and welding and nursing and all these different things is that you got to practice it you got to keep doing it over and over and over to come in here and only pick a couple of these things and then just say go do it one day and not do it for six months you're not going to retain it Stay tuned for part two. I'm going to interview the students and, and let you hear what they have to say about this way of uh, training from a, a coaching versus the traditional instructor, you know, atmosphere. And then also thanks for uh, watching the channel. Please subscribe, share, and stay tuned. Keep wrenching, my friends.